Love doctors, love doctors, you are the love gurus. I'm wondering if I should admit this. I live with two other girls, and to make a long story short, one of my roommate's brothers was staying with us for about a month, and we got close, and I've been hooking up with him. We're not dating, we're just hooking up, and I'm wondering if I have to tell my friend that I'm hooking up with her brother because we really do like each other, and they're going to keep hooking up for a while. Do not do this. You will ruin your friendship. My best friend hooked up with my brother, and she's dead to me. Don't do it. Like because, so took, huh? uh, but yeah. dead to you because of the situation of them breaking up, or like was it the same thing? Was it ba- was it a bad situation early? No, I just said you're my friend. He's my brother. Don't do it. You guys have are basically like siblings too. We've known each other like our whole life. That's disgusting. Sometimes. The heart wants what the heart wants. Thanks, BB Rexa. Right? <laughs> Thanks, BB. Uh, I feel like if you guys are, are just like hooking up and it's just, it's that's all it's going to be, maybe you wouldn't want to brag about that so much. But if you guys are going to start dating, maybe you sit down and say, you know, things happen. I'm going to start dating him. Like, I don't think you could hide a relationship. You could maybe hide just like a the booty. I think you could hide the booty. Yeah, I think that's definitely something that you can kind of just keep hidden a little bit. And are you just roommates or are you guys buddies? Like, are you actually friends or is this like some college arrangement where you you won't yeah. see them in a few years? Yeah. yeah. And love doctors, love doctors, you're the love gurus. I've made a mistake. My girlfriend and I have been together for about two years and earlier this year we moved in together and now I'm having major regrets. I thought she was great before we also lived together, but sometimes I'm really uncomfortable uh, being under the same roof as her. I like to be in a long-term relationship with her, but not necessarily live in the same place. Is there a way to make that happen? What do you mean you're uncomfortable being in the same roof as her? Like, is she crazy? I I don't know. You're great to date, but I want to live with you. How do you have a long-term relationship with somebody and not live with them? Like, what, in my mind, when you say long-term not get, not relationship, married. Yeah, you're, yeah, that means you're getting married and you want to marry that person if that's what you're looking for. So you have to be able to live with them at some point. I I don't see how that would work unless she was cool with you guys not being overly committed. I think eventually there's like the stages of the standard relationship. When you're dating, you're dating, you're dating, you live together, you're married, or you're married and you live together, depending on your background. I'm thinking that probably that's not, I think you maybe just learned that you don't like her. You don't want to be with her. You probably should just break up with her. Yeah, that's definitely a sign, right? Yeah, I like you, (laughs) but I just don't want to be around you all the time. I can't live with you. This is, it's not going good. You're great in doses. Yeah. It's like the the Kelso moment from uh, that 70s show where it's like, when Jessica Simpson was on there and he's like, I love her. And they're like, no, you don't. He's like, I love parts of her. (laughs) That's probably it, bro. A little bit of that. And finally today, love doctors, love doctors, you are the love gurus. My husband and I are about to have our first child. I actually like his mother quite a bit, but she can be pretty overbearing sometimes. So before the baby arrives, I just want to set some ground rules about when she can come over, how she's going to act around the baby, how she needs to follow our lead on certain things. How do you have the boundary conversation when it comes to your in-laws? I don't think that's your job. I think you tell your partner, they take care of that for their family. You do it for your family. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was going to say your 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 partner probably already knows that there's a dislike or that the in-law or their parents are a little bit crazy. And if your if your partner doesn't think that about their own parents or whatever the situation is, then yeah, you ha- you probably shouldn't be with that person, right? Yeah, I mean they got a baby on the way, so bad time to realize that moment. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I suppose, like, but I don't want your mom like being around the baby very much. That's that's not going to happen. She's a grandma now. I would definitely say uh, Amy's probably hit what generally happens on the head, and that is either ahead of time or after they've done something that annoys you, the person who is the kid of that grandparent sits down and goes, hey, dad, well, let's be honest, hey, mom, (laughs) here's the thing I really need you not to do, or we'd really rather you do it that way. There's got to be a lot of we in there. It can't be like, you know, if if ever Amy walked into a room and Stephen was like, listen, mom, Amy wants this and Amy wants that. I'm guessing <laughs> she would lose her mind. It needs to be, we would prefer this. Yeah. We would prefer that. But at the same time, if she is, she said she gets along with her mother-in-law. I think you can kind of right away say, you know, like, make sure you're like rubbing your belly so you look like a mom. And you're like, oh, you know, when the, my new baby comes, it's probably just going to be <laughs> us at home. I don't know. Say something like that. So the boundaries, you need to you need sure. to put the boundaries up right away. Just have a little yes. uh, grandparent get together supper 
and say, all right, here's the situation. This is what we want. We're laying out the ground rules. You can't do this, this, or this. That that might work. Yeah, but you got to make sure, like Amy said, you're rubbing the belly. Yeah, rub the belly. the belly. Oh, and if you do this or this, I'm going to cut you out of this No, life. you don't say that. Not yet. But Baby's you just rub the here. belly like, oh, we're so excited. Little baby. But happy Easter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>